CEO and chairman of Ammo Coating System. And Ammo Coating System, as you might ask, is the ability to put on uh, serialization numbers on the bullets. With the rash of killings and shootings that we've seen throughout Chicago land and throughout the we have now came up with this new technology and legislation that is sitting inside Springfield. The bill number is HB 6615. And I am going around to everyone that I can to ask for their help in order to push this legislation forward so we don't need to see another mother crying because her babies are dying. We don't need another funeral. We don't need another bloody summer that we have seen. I'm just gonna show some examples of what we do with animal coding system. Next slide, please. This is the way that police now try to solve a gun crime. They find the bullet and they try to match it up through the rifling marks. That would work great if you had the gun, but unfortunately, they don't usually have the gun. They have the victims. The next slide, please. This is our data center. This data center cont uh, contains one quadrillion numbers. And so when a crime is caused with a new type of bullets, and let's face it, I do not make bullets, I'm like Microsoft, we are a software company. And this data center then allows the police to enter those numbers that they find on the casing or the bullet itself, and then within five seconds be able to find out where that bullet was bought and who bought that and who bought that bullet. Because then they could go to Mr. Smith and say, you just bought this bullet at Bass Pro in Indiana. Can you please explain why we find it in this poor child's head on the west side? Next slide, please. As you can see, this is how it works. On the bottom of the projectile, which is the bullet, you'll have the serialization. And on the casing on the bottom, you'll see also the numbers. People leave casing. People leave casings at the scenes, and of course the bullets are usually either in a wall or in some person, and we don't need to have that any longer. We have the ability to use 21st century technology to give our police a chance to solve the crimes and bring justice and closure for those families who suffer from the needless shootings that go on every day inside the United States. Next slide, please. As you can see, we have these things tested by the uh, California Department tested by the uh, California Department of Justice. They fired 200 test rounds in ballistic gel, in car doors, into concrete, which we all might know are a lot harder than our own bodies. Next slide, please. This is what it does. It says how we have a uh, serialization of the numbers, and the CLETUS is the essential law enforcement uh, technical services where we, they would call into us or they would go online through their apps and their portholes and they'd be able to find this information and then hopefully start an investigation. Because as we just saw over Chicago this summer, 42 people were shot at on the highways. They shut down the highways and yet they go through the charade of picking up the casings and nothing ever gets done. Have you seen anybody be arrested lately? Unless it was Dwayne Wade's cousin's killer. Who are we when the people that we you know, elect to office don't care about us any longer? The next slide, please. This is just a process of how it's done. People might say, well, it's going to take a lot of time to write down these numbers at a gun show. No, it's just like buying milk or by buying ice cream or lettuce. It's done at the manufacturer, so when somebody goes to buy a bullet, they scan their licenses or their FOID card, and they scan the box, which has a little unique barcode. All that is already info at the manufacturers and within our data system. So it doesn't cost any more. It doesn't take any more time. So the arguments are erroneous. The next slide, please. This is just another thing. Next slide, please. These are the examples of the bullets that were tested. These are lead jackets. Lead jackets are you find in 22s and little 38s, as you can see, the numbers are pristine and you can see it with the naked eye. We only need 20% of that number of a fragmented bullet to trace it back to the guy who just sold them to the gangbangers, who just profiting 
off the deaths that they cause within our communities. How many more children need to die? How many more grandmothers need to be wounded just because they're trying to make extra money? Trying to make extra money and working in a, in a store and they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. We need everyone here that can pick up a phone, do an email, call Mike Madigan, call the governor, call your state representatives. Linda Chapelavia, one of the state representatives, Senators here are one of the co-sponsors on this bill. Mary E. Flowers from Chicago, a co-sponsor on this bill. Sonia Harper was the author of this bill. LaShawn Ford out of Little Park what is a co-sponsor. So we have some support, but without people, we have nothing. They're just going to keep rolling it over and expect the same thing. Einstein once said the definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. The police have now did this charade that you just saw this weekend where they have tons of police on the streets, yet people are being shot and killed. It doesn't work. Next slide, please. This is a 9 millimeter that went into concrete. And again, you can see how things... Next slide, please. Again, another 9 millimeter. That went into concrete. And again, you can see how things. Next slide, please. Again, another 9 millimeter. Now, I have handouts here with, with Dr. Congress, and we hope that you take these and read them. And my phone number is on this, so if you wish you more information, you can uh, call me personally. Or you can find us on Facebook at Ammo Cody, or you can find a non for profit which is called Lines for Lives which was the first one that's helped get, that's helped get this thing going. Next slide, please. Again, you can see on the bullet the numbers. Numbers do not lie. People are always scared because they're afraid that they're going to be ratted on. And now they won't because the bullet doesn't care who they hit. But we could get justice because of the silence that we could now break. Next slide. Mothers are crying. Their babies are dying, and we need to stop them. I thank you for your time today, and I encourage you to call your state reps, your state legislators, and tell them you want HB 6615. Thank you. And the holy dove was moving too, and every